position down in the blocks like that quickly at the other end. Boy, that was a breakout by Sparrow. Couldn't get it to go with the right hand, and here comes Singletary. To Peter. Look out, Corbin Rowe knocks that thing down. I'm not sure. It looks like John Gallagher has a big smile on his face right now. If they can make threes, it makes them very dangerous in this game. Richard Peters using the game. He told me, look, all the pressure is on Stony Brook. They're at home. This is the game last year. They're expected to win. We're not expected to win. No pressure on us. I reminded him this week of that quote and said, all right, you're at home. So is the reverse true? He said, absolutely not. All the pressure is still on Stony Brook. They're number one preseason in our league. They have the player of the year in the league. They're 0-3 in the finals. All the pressure's on them. <laughs> Bob, you've been doing this long enough. You know, <laughs> it doesn't matter what the coaches say. These guys got to go make the plays. Team matchup in the East region. Catching fire. Cooley. Side rim. Rebounded by Peters. Peters. Inside. He gets it to go. That is an oddity for Albany. They're a terrific free throw shooting team. Sanders personally shot at 77% last season, but he missed them both. Finish at the rim. Tallest player on the Albany squad, 6'11", 280 junior, Richard Peters, out of Ontario. Like Jamal Murray, number 23 for the Cats. Here's Lee. Peters. The left side layup. They stuck with it, Albany, after the Cornell block, 16-11. Great Danes leading the big red. 
Hatter jumps the pass off to Bathurst from the right baseline. We'll get it back out to the perimeter. Left side, Fallis. Off it goes to Whiteside. Locked off at the left baseline. Gettings comes into the middle, puts up a short shot. He'll miss that one. Now one of seven from distance. 24-19, Great Danes lead it by five. Hooley between the circles now. Andrews, dump inside Peters, too easy. The official, and got a technical. Then on the other end, they called a foul on UMBC, and then Jordan Grant got called for an offensive foul, next possession, and then got called for another foul on a transition basket for Albany. Here's Elliott again, goes to the basket, can't score.